If the NFL finds Tyree Kill, we're gonna have a problem. We, we're gonna have a we are we are gonna have They're, a problem. They are gonna find this is ridiculous. Hey, How- hey, by the way, what he pulled off was worth it. Oh man, you you take a selfie doing a backflip, amazing. But I love how the NFL had to scrub it from the internet immediately. They're like, no, 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 no. We can't penalize him and also use his entertainment for our benefit. Okay, maybe we will. Now, I would say this. You should only get fined if it was planned. But if it was like a spur of the moment thing, that's all in the excitement of the game. All of it. Well, they're they're finding him for, for ridiculous things now. I will say this. This Dolphins team has the most untaped skill players I have ever seen. Untaped? Untaped. Like you like mean- they don't take they basically have footies on. Oh, okay. It's I've never seen that. Footies. Foot- and it's all the guys that run fast. What do you mean footies? Like little footy, so, so like, they like have little, like, they have almost like, like baby tadpole booty. They have like they have like almost like tights mm-hmm. that go almost to the ankles, and then there's a space, and then they have footies in their shoes. Mm. So there's space in between the the teal that you see or the orange, and the ankle. They don't get taped. I wonder if that's by design. Yes, I wonder why that is. I don't know, but it seems to be all the fast guys. Maybe that was my problem. I used to get taped, spatted. The whole nine yards. You look like you were going to fight like like medieval times. Yeah. yeah. You, you were. You know what I look like? I look like a guy who wasn't as fast as Raheem Mostert, and there was going to be some contact. So fast. Right. Forgot how fast he was because Devon Achan made me think that he wasn't fast, but he's fast too. And strong. And strong. Can't take him down. Yeah. Mostert. Yeah. Takes a hit. Keeps on going. Never doubted him. Take a licking. Keep on ticking. <laughs> You guys remember Dalvin Cook? <laughs> no, Dalvin no, hey, Cook. hey, wait, wait, wait. That only that only <laughs> applies that only applies to one person here. Oh, okay. what you? I will punch you in the face. <gasps> oh, you, a couple of Vikings. I understand you wanted them. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. So let's just get this out. So I was in the mall. Oh, That's this right. is where you want to start. Yeah, because you, so you want to start the show. <laughs> Here on the day on the day where the Dolphins continue to put up record because, numbers, because here's the here's the problem. If I start talking about football, I'm gonna start talking about the Canes. You don't have and, to do that. Okay, you don't have to do that. We can okay. have fun first, and then we can talk we about a fun. team that okay. like you know. No, 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 no. Don't start. Okay, don't start. You're gonna start, and then I'm gonna get going. Because you're mad. <sighs> Headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. That's why I have a long cord. Where's your cord? In my bag. Oh. We know trucks. How'd you think uh, Mario Cristobal was on Joe's show today? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> the swag penalties are back. You know, you know what's gone? The fake poise. Yep. You know, it's easy. To, here. Here. Let me tell you, this is in life. This is not just football or sports, but it applies a lot to sports. It's easy to be poised and consistent and swag free and all these things when you're winning, right? But the true test of that is when things aren't going your way. Mm -hmm. How poised are you? How disciplined are you? Yep. How are you going to fight through this? It's easy for a coach to come out here and say it. But what I see on the field is everybody losing their damn cool because things aren't going their way. So the swag building is when you were killing teams, weren't weren't, weren't there. Mm -hmm. Now, in the moments that you need to be poised as much as possible to keep it close, you out there committing swag penalties and doing stupid stuff. So, the next time, Somebody tells me about the Canes. Yeah. And I say, let's wait until they play somebody to determine how effective it is. In fairness, nobody was, nobody was. But that's not the point. The point, it's not the point 
that they won or I, lost. I understand, but I just wanted to. It's be, a point that they lost their damn mind. I understand, but you're 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 deflecting onto. I'm not deflecting. You should say the fan base has not peacocked this year. They have not said we are back. They have not said any of that stuff. Agreed. The fan base was nothing agree. but royally no, no, pissed no. last week. I'm more concerned. Not I'm not even talking about fans as much, but I say fans. Mm -hmm. It's the Canes themselves. Mm -hmm. I actually thought that a lot of this stuff was gone because they did win the Texas A&M game facing a lot of adversity. Right. I did think that it was gone. But, but okay, but, one but, game does not make a season. No, I understand. I understand. But I did think that was a good sign that there was I, a lot me, of mistakes. Wait, wait, nobody was giving more praise to the coaching staff and, and early in the year. It was like they are playing a different level of football than I've seen them right. play as far as poise, as far as how they do go about their business. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first sign – the first sign of adversity? It was tough. You went just back to I don't what is the opposite of complimentary football, Marcos? Is it like insulting football? Yeah. Because like when <laughs> when your defense gets a nice big stand and then your quarterback just throws the ball to the other team immediately. You I'm like, have this. huh. All right. Well, that's less than ideal. You put yourself yeah. in because it like there were it, it felt like there were all right, Canes, they fumble on the goal line, and that's not great. But you know what? Get a lead at halftime. They yep. were able to with, but you could only you could only have so many of those. You can't be owed for right. the turnover Here. margin. You can't do that on the road against a good team. But ultimately, like, look, you shouldn't have expected them to beat North Carolina. North Carolina is better. They've been better. They they beat you. They have beat your brains in now for half a decade. You you you're not you're not there yet. I get that. But here's here's and I asked you this earlier. When the Dolphins were down fourteen nothing. Did you panic? Did nah. you go, oh, no, did you? No, you know why? Because that team has proven they're going to do all the right things. It doesn't mean they're going to win. But you know they're going to make some adjustments and compete and, and have a chance to win. Right. Now it ended up being a blowout, but th that thing said. The Canes had a couple of tough breaks early in the game. And it was like, it's over. Like, they never, like... If you just was, stay the course, you have a chance. Not saying you're going to win, but to conv to go back to the Canes that have gotten you in trouble the last few years, that was the most disappointing thing. It's, it's, and it's more about, you know what? I know it's a hard transition. I know it's hard for kids to, to you know, it's hard for that message. Po being poised under adverse conditions is a really hard thing. But don't come out here and preach to me what you're going to be. No, we're going to be tough. Right. We're so tough. Right. No one's tougher than the game. Because we're that's, tough. look, tough. we watch that game. We fumbled tough. <laughs> you know what ain't tough? Swag penalties. That means you hitting somebody after the play. That means you over there talking trash to somebody and you ain't even winning the game. You know what's soft? Kneeling. Oh. You know what's not, you know, it's not soft. What's tough? Running the football. Got to run it. Got to have two right. hands on the football, though. You got to have it. The other tough, thing tough that, hands on the rock. would you believe tough. I was pissed off? Two seconds into the game. Mm. Would you like to know why? Yeah, tell me. Last week, Mario Cristobal said on these airwaves that the fumble and the uh giving up the big play yeah. didn't matter. It was on it was on me. It was on me. Right? That's on me. Accountability, that's tough. That's tough. So <laughs> That being said, with a young man yeah. who was bawling his eyes out on the sideline, you supposedly took that weight off of him. The first play of the game, I would have gave him the ball. Just to confirm that. He didn't play till like the second quarter. Mm -hmm. So while you sitting here. You thought he was a message. You, while you sitting here saying it's not on them, you certainly penalized the guy like it was on him. But you make him sit there because it's tough. Right. He, he sits in there and he sits in his emotions. Right. But think tough. about it. That's think about tough. what, what do tough. most coaches do? Tough. Most tough. coaches try to get you right back out there with a carry to let you know we riding with you. Right. That's that's not what yeah. happened. He didn't ride with him. Right. So so while and then the guy he rode with yacked up the football. So while so that's while tough. we sitting here talking about, you know, we're gonna move forward and we're gonna get past this or whatever, you can't have actions that would suggest that you haven't yeah it, it's just one of these things that's frustrating because again 
I'm less. It, it's tough not to have a domino effect of the week before tough. taking it into this week because, you know, I don't. I didn't. Ex- you know, North Carolina has owned them, and especially after Harper, I didn't think they were going to win this game. But can't say they didn't have their chances. But it's like Leroy's saying. It's just a comedy of errors. You know, if it's not fumbling at the goal line, it's TVD. You know who. Honestly, TVD threw one of the best balls I've seen all year. It was an amazing throw where he, he got, got lit smashed. up. Smashed. That was a great play. It was one smashed. of the best throws I've seen this season. And then somehow he answers the bell with that, with thinking that a Tar Heel was on his team and just giving him the easiest catch I've ever seen a defender ever have. Um, and then you have the swag penalties. You have the coach not knowing how to count how many people are on the field. Then the coach running onto the field. Um, And it's just, and it's annoying. And it's like, well, what do we hear from the coach afterwards? It's like, uh, is there going to be a hangover from closing? No, Uh, Joe, we got those guys. We're tough. We're tough. We're we're tough. We got a tough mentality. We're tougher than everybody. You saw how we fumbled? Tough. Tough. (laughs) You know how we like our losses? We like them tough. (laughs) Anybody can take a blowout loss. We like them tough. You know how I like my steak, Joe? Tough. 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 Because we're tough. Nobody's tougher than the Canes. Undefeated, that's soft. (laughs) Two losses, tough. You get through adversity, that's tough. Oh, somebody said TVD is Kirk Cousins. Nah, I mean, you know, he, he had some throws, man. He, he, some he, throws. he always has some throws. He has some, ta- but like he'll also be like, woof. Maybe he is Kirk Cousins. I, I don't know, <laughs> but like he's it. It is it is flat because everything I think with him is like everybody can see the talent that he has. I think that that Tyler Van Dyke is certainly has got some game, but man, he's got some doozies too. But. Hey, man, I think the thing that's frustrating as a Canes fan is not that you expected to win. Like Lira said, I was not at that point. I was a win away from feeling froggy, and then Mario Cristobal decided, you know what's not tough? Kneeling. That's not tough. So he decided, I'm going to yak up the football, and we're going to. I mean, and, and, and let's, let's just put it out there. Um, being tough is more than just going out and splitting heads, Right? In sports, being tough is being tough mentally, being tough physically. That means that no matter how bad it goes, you stay the course, you're poised. That's tough. That's probably just as important as how physical you are on the field. And you ask any coach when he says, I want tough-minded individuals. That means no matter how bad or tough it gets, we're going to ride this out and fight through it. Wrong. You know how you do it? You you mess up, you're sulking it. That's tough. Oh, that's tough. that's tough. That's how you do it. <laughs> no, no change. Wrong. I mean, I I'm very good what you're saying there, but no, that's not that's not tough. That's not tough. What's tough is you have a heartbreaking loss and then you sit in your feelings for a week. Mm-hmm. So you can have a tough practice to learn from that toughness. Yeah. And then eventually, maybe after like four years of toughness and tough losses, maybe then you have a 10 win season, but right. ultimately you'll lose the most disappointing game because that's tough. Now, <sighs> yesterday, you know what's yeah, not now. tough? Accolades and success. Let's get nah. back to the Dolphins. You want to take a break? Yeah, we got to take a break. Okay, Let's so we it. had to get that. Listen, you needed that had to get of, that. You needed that out of your system. I had to get that off my chest because it was just very painful to watch, and and I actually thought this team was in a different place. It had nothing to do with the wins or the the win or the loss against North Carolina. I thought this team was in a different place, and they're not. They're, they're not, you know, it, 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 I hate to say this, mm-hmm. but here's what I'm feeling right now. Depending on the competition, the Canes will fold. They'll go back to their old ways. That's a terrible feeling mm-hmm. because all the examples I have right now, every time there's been adversity, right, they have kind of gone back to the old Canes. Swag ponies, pushing people around, making silly mistakes. Or just in genuine giving away wins. You know, right? Because that's tough. Yep, that's tough. You know what's not tough? Commercials. 